Pirates. Blackbeard is back. On 3rd April this year, Somali pirates boarded and hijacked an Indian boat taking 11 crew hostage. Six days later, on INS Mumbai, that's a distress call, looks like a ship's been hijacked. Officer, turn around, we need to rescue them. In a rare joint operation with the Chinese Navy, they rescued 19 crew. From 2006 to 12, more than 660 vessels were hijacked in the waters along Somalia's coast and the Gulf of Aden. Since 2013, there had been no incidents, but it seems they may be back. While the Gulf of Aden was quiet, the new hijacking area is the South China Sea and the Malacca Strait. It's the world's busiest commercial waterway, with a third of the world's shipping moving through it and a ship entering the 1.7 mile wide strait every four minutes. Their booty of choice? Oil. Their modus operandi is simple. In the dead of the night, they climb on board using rocket propelled hooks. Earlier, kidnappers hijacked a ship for ransom and the cargo could be anything. Pay us five million dollars or we will kill the captain. Remember the famous movie with Tom Hanks playing Captain Phillips? It was based on a true life incident. Money would be exchanged on the shore between the mastermind and the shipping company before the crew would be allowed to go. But that took a lot of time and there was a chance of being caught. Now they have become more humane and rarely harm anyone. Once inside, smash all the communication equipment. We are only here for your cargo. You are safe. Within minutes, another ship pulls up alongside, steered by more pirates, and the oil is transferred. The pirate ship then vanishes into the night and can take refuge in any one of more than 17,000 islands of Indonesia, making them virtually impossible to find. It's often difficult to decide which nation should be investigating a robbery in international waters. The piracy took place in waters near your shore. You handle it? Maybe. But they have taken the stolen goods to your maritime waters. You handle it. Piracy on the high seas is big business, but has decreased with better policing. The shippers are fully insured, so they get their money back from insurance companies. But we better not get hijacked again, otherwise nobody will use our vessels. We should hire armed guards. This helped beat piracy in Somalia, but every additional expense made to keep the goods secure Add to costs, which are then borne by you and me. And sometimes mistakes can happen. In 2012, Italian Marines aboard a private oil tanker of the coast of India opened fire on an unarmed fishing boat, killing two Indian fishermen and were jailed. The Italian government must compensate the fishermen's families, otherwise they will remain in jail. Other options include LRADS or long-range acoustic devices that emit sound waves so loud they cause intense earache. Oh, I can't bear the pain! Turn around! Or one can arm the ship with a high voltage charge to deter pirates from climbing over the rails. But this can only be done with ships carrying non-flammable material. More than 90% of the world's trade is through the sea and will continue to be. The game of cops and robbers is on. There are still pirates on the high sea that hijack ships and then flee. But technology will ensure that it's not as easy as before to take away anything for free. If you like this video, share it with your friends and become Bizbo's friend by subscribing for free to Bizbo's YouTube channel. Come, let's discover the world together.